Hello and welcome back to SNN, your home of sports. Indeed, Marvin, what a match we've got here today. One of the bouts will go down in history. We've got animals going head to head with science. Oh, and what a matchup it is. How do you see science's odds in this match? Oh, good question, Marv. Good question. Let's have a look over here at the stats, Eliza. You see, science has built up quite a bit of momentum recently, and it's starting probably 700 years ago with the Renaissance, moving on through the Industrial Revolution, then culminating with the Age of Information. I think it's going to be pretty hard to hold that kind of progress. That's true, but animals, you can't underestimate the animals. If we have a look back at the stats board, we see that we've got animals such as sponges that have been around for 760 million years. It's that sort of experience you can't buy, and it's that sort of experience that I think is going to make the difference tonight. Well, indeed, I think we're about to find out as they bring the contestants out. And a lion, I see a lion, and okay, I don't see science, but... Well, science is all around us, Chuck. Well, that may be true, Mark, but I think it's a bit of a cop out. No, not really. And they're off. And it looks like the lion is making a beeline directly for our commentary box. I, I think we should get out of here, Mark. Oh, well, now it looks like the lion is actually beating on the commentary box door. Now, remember, these lions can weigh up to 109 kilos, and it looks like it's using all of that weight to get through that door. What an answer. I'm out of here, Mark. And it looks like the lion has finally made his way through the door and is now chasing Chuck down the hole. Now, if Chuck has read the scouting reports, he knows these lions are consistent predators, which means that they only chase you if you run away. Well, that's one for the highlight reel. Keep it tuned here for all your sports news on SNN.